Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio. So, we're going to continue to use the, the Blue Yeti microphone for a little while. So, this thing, this thing, this thing. It's okay. It's okay. I kind of kind of prefer it the other way now, but uh, we'll allow it. It takes the same exact amount of space that way as it does the other way. Um, the only drawback is that it, does, it utilizes side loading, which is actually not quite as good as, as loading directly onto there. So perhaps we can um, design a new thing. I don't know why we're working on this, it just seems like the right thing to do. Oh god, how can I not have transport belts? Wow, that's some really loud wind. Can you hear that wind? It's insane. Yeah, I know what I'm gonna do. Here's the plan. Steal this one. And we wouldn't have to make a new one. Let the robots make new ones. Alright, so you, sir, I need to go... I'm gonna go eight. No, no, no. That is a long assembly, but that is, um... If we use a fast track, we can actually support 16 furnaces in a single row. Which is pretty sick. I think we're going to want to move this roboport so that we can actually fit it. <laughs> oh god, did I put them four? Oh no, I put them four apart, damn it. I swear, this game hates me sometimes. I blame the game, it's not my fault. No! No. Regular track. Oh, look at him go! <laughs> Love that. Uh, regular tracks can support um, eight items, like. The items from eight furnaces at a time. That looks really cool. <laughs> I love the way they do that. Um, anyway, um... I'm just gonna keep on playing. I'm gonna stop trying to talk. Mm, yeah, I I reset my uh, my thing like every single time I load the game up. I'm like notorious for not maintaining my settings. All right. So in the last video, I got all focused on whatever they were called, Defender Capsules. Those are cool. So yeah, I kind of like this one better. In order to support the outer one, we'll need to have both sides of it totally full. So that means that we need to use a Splitter 2. Corners will need to be fast tracked to avoid any compression loss. And then other than that, like we can feed into that from there then. Of course I have a laser thing here, which is kind of annoying. Let me put it somewhere else. Let's put it like there. And then And then that's kind of fine. Uh, really, we... Whoa! We're missing all kinds of items. That's weird. What's going on there? Why do we not have furnaces? Aren't you little... Aren't you guys making furnaces somewhere? What's up with this? 
It's a lack of furnaces because we have no stone. Really. What a strange thing to not have. Oh gosh. Of course I would pick the wrong spot. Where can we fit it? I just need to put it somewhere. I mean, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna go right here. This space has been commandeered. So that'll solve the the furnace issue. But then the other things we're missing is like we don't have telephone, like power cables, really? I'm amazed by that. You know, I think the reason why is I just I just manually throw some in there every now and then. That ought to do it. So let's see, what's the plan right now? We need to continue getting combat robotics. We're not getting any blue science packs right now because reasons. There is a lack of smart inserters, of course. We're not making smart inserters because why? Where do they get made? They get made over here. A lack of iron into the into the thing okay so that's shut down like all of science and that is the reason why I was going and working on trains because we needed fresh iron that's why we fought the bad guys we have very little iron stored up we just need to get more iron coming in we have no, um, well, there actually is quite a bit of stored up iron ore. The only thing I'm going to do is, um, clearly we need more, more of these blueprint things in my inventory. Why not, right? I'm gonna do that. And then... I suppose we could actually put this thing right here. It doesn't have to be there. You know what, I, there would actually be even better, because then one side doesn't even have compression issues. It's a lack of compression, that's what we want. Alright, one of those guys. So, it's going to be left side becoming, yeah, this is backwards, unfortunately. That doesn't help us at all. You know, it's such a short distance into the thing that we'll probably be okay. Let's just see how that does. Alright, so from now on, that second cart will actually be useful. Until we get that top one functional. Yeah, that's that should work just fine. The only problem is that this is all coming out onto one side, which is not fine. How can we fix that? The reason for that is that this one is actually coming out on the wrong side. Well... I 
Hmm. A little beep beeps letting me know there's still not enough furnaces. Probably because there's not enough steel now. I know they're moving the stone around. The attacks are usually pretty inconsequential. So there's not much to worry about. This side's totally fine. What we do is just do that. Now, why is it doing it that way? There we go. I just had to... They, it, no, it, it has a tendency to do it in a specific order. It's, it's not really doing it the way that I want it to do this. You silly game. I'm not going to worry about it. And since I... Ugh, ugh, it's just so messy. Everything about it. I don't like it. We're going to do a splitter. because I don't have access to express belts. And if this did come out full, it would be... it would have its, its own issues. Some of this iron needs to get down into the actual... factory. I can't just all go into this thing. I use a ton of splitters now. And without power, of course they can't work. I don't even know if they can keep up with that, actually. Maybe they can. Yeah, I'd say they're doing okay. A feast for iron. Go, my my pretties. Work. You know, that's actually not what I wanted. They, they're side loading now. Okay, so we are gathering iron fairly quickly now. Not very many uh, furnaces actually got built there, did they? We'll just queue them up again. They only last, it only will uh, keep the blueprints up for five minutes. So I guess we're really having issues getting these furnaces made. It's a lack of advanced circuits now. Okay, what's going on with advanced circuitry? There's some being made there. What about down here? Well, they're all working. I'm guessing it's just the lack of any kind of stored up amount, you know? Still not seeing any of those things because 
You know what? All the iron. We have 1.3k iron now in storage. It's not actually making its way into these things. Didn't I at one point set up um, a requester chest to like inject iron back into the system? But frankly, as messy as it's going to be, it just it's just better to just bring some iron down. So we want all this to merge in, but at the same time, I'm going to bring some of it away. this iron to just come in down here. I don't care how messy it is. It is what it is. Sometimes the iron just needs to get places. And is there a better way we can sideload this stuff together? Well, it's all getting sideloaded anyway, so it's probably not really an issue. that will get these things being made. You know, like a, a regular transport belt can move like 720 items a minute, which is way more than any number of robots could probably do. Well, I guess if we had 720 robots, they could move more than that, but the power requirements for that would just be ridiculous. So this should be working pretty quick now. In fact, I don't know why I didn't do this differently. See, like, this is a perfect place where a splitter can be really tremendously useful. Because you get rid of that, and then you go to a couple of these, and you can actually grab from the splitter and from the one next to it. It's just, just a splitter, just like that, bam. That'll keep that thing working way quicker than that one fast inserter. If anything, we'll have a hard time keeping up with circuits. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, well, I'm going to take a break here. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always. See you again soon.